there's much that we can learn by studying the kings of Israel and of Judah. Now, without fail, all the kings of Israel were idolaters, but the kings of Judah, they kind of bounced around. Some of them were idolaters, yes. Some of them were faithful to the Lord. Some of them were extremely faithful to the Lord. One of the ones that I'm looking at today is King Uzziah. He became king when he was only 16 years old, and he had a good counselor in his life. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles 26, 4, he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah did, and he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. This king was a builder. He was... Um, a man who encouraged the people. He built cities. He built uh, agriculture uh, in his nation. He was a good king. But his success led him to become strong. And later in life, the Bible tells us that something happened to King Uzziah. It says, but when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction it says in the, the previous verse, and he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks, to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name was spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. He was marvelously helped until he was strong. And they didn't have any help anymore. <laughs> Isn't that sad? It's such a sad story as, as, he, as his fame builds, as his prosperity builds, as he builds up his nation, this man is terribly successful. And he's helping his nation. He's helping his people. He's a good leader. He's a godly man. But when he became strong, his heart was lifted up, it says, to his destruction. He, it says... <clears throat> He transgressed against the Lord his God. And here's what he did. He got so prideful that he decided that he could not only be the king, but that he could carry out the role of priest as well. And so he went into the temple to burn incense on the altar. Well, that was a job that only the sons of Aaron could do. And as a result, God struck him with leprosy. And King Uzziah had to be chastened by God with this disease called leprosy, and he died a leper. You know, the Bible tells us pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. That's exactly what happened to King Uzziah. When he got strong, until he was strong in and of himself, when he decided there came a day that he looked around and he said, look what I have done. Look at the cities I've built. Look how secure I am. Look at my army. Look at these weapons, these engines he had built trebuchets and catapults on the walls of Jerusalem to protect him from his enemies. He looked at all of that and he said, man, I am strong. I am secure. I have everything that I need. And I'm going to go into the temple. I know I'm not supposed to, but surely God will let me because I am such an incredibly successful and powerful king. Well, he went too far and it cost him dearly. Pride always goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. The New Testament tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. I really am, am disturbed by stories like King Uzziah. There's several of them in the scriptures where a man starts out great following Jesus and, and running hard toward God only to fade later in life. Wouldn't it be sad for the successes that God has given us in this life to actually become pitfalls for us as we allow our own selfishness, pride, and arrogance to lift our hearts up before God. The Bible says that God gives his grace to the humble, but he opposes the proud. I just want to encourage you this morning, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and let him lift you up. If you become strong, give God the glory and realize we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.